Halloween has come and gone, but pumpkins remain useful with the thought of pumpkin pie, of course. In this week's Northwoods Adventure, Shane Lee witnesses what some folks have done with their squash at Amazing Pumpkins in Nisswa. This miniature theme park would definitely be called off the beaten path. Amazing Pumpkins opened September 3rd and closed October 30th in its second year of operation. Last year we only had um, three things to do. We had the main corn maze, a mini maze out of straw hay bales, and then we had a corn box. And this year we added a petting zoo, a concession stand, a whole bunch of picnic tables. The biggest hit among those additions is easily the petting zoo. The stars of the show are Fuzzball the horse, some goats, a Chinese golden pheasant, and no strangers to PBS, Bert and Ernie the ducks. Of course, the animals do not take care of themselves. It's fun and sort of hard. Madison says she is saving her hard-earned money for a riding horse, not like Fuzzball, who is the most difficult part of Madison's job. She prefers a different animal. To be honest, the goats, because they're sort of like a horse, except much tinier, and they're really funny when they do the little buying thing. The second most popular attraction is the corn maze, which takes Nikki O'Day and her husband about a month to create. We count the rows when we plant, and then when we go to do it, there's a huge grid pattern. I, we actually keep it every year. And then he draws it out, and then I come and say, well, don't you think? And then he redraws it for me, and then I say usually about three more times, and by the time he's ready to kill me, then it gets put out. The corn maze covers about two and a half acres and takes roughly 15 minutes to get through. And I've been assured there have been no panic attacks or emergency phone calls inside the maze. The only panic moments we've had is when we had an eight-year-old who um, got too scared in our scary nights, and then by the end of the night, she was scaring people. So... It, it does happen. What better way to celebrate navigating the corn maze than to catapult a pumpkin about 50 yards? If you land one in the bucket, you get a free pumpkin. And who could forget the leader of the hayride, Billy the Pirate? <laughs> what a great day for some good corny fun. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.